Well, the sun has finally come out and uh, the snow is starting to uh, melt away. And uh, that'll be nice because uh, it really hampers us from getting some of our projects done. And uh, I wanted to take the time today to uh, uh, when is give a thumbs up a really nice uh, review and uh, uh, to uh, Justin Rhodes. He uh, just had a really nice uh, video made at his uh, homestead farm uh, by a professional, which actually we have someone in our family that could do the same thing. And I wouldn't mind doing that in the future too, but uh, stuff takes a lot of money. But uh, the big thing, uh, uh, what I do enjoy is him showing all the aspects of different types of growing and, and raising uh, cattle and, uh, and other animals and then making it uh, work as a cycle. Uh, everything's melting. A cycle to uh, improve the soil and uh, be more organic with your food and be more self-reliant. One of the things I feel like he falls short on, which is not his fault, but is the middle of the road people, kind of like us. We're not quite city. We're not really rural. We're kind of in between rural and country. And uh, that's where we want to capture people um, that still have careers, jobs, uh, still got to have health care, uh, don't necessarily have private businesses, and uh, inspire them to uh, uh, get into this, learning how to be more self-reliant. And, uh, you know, we talk about prepping and emergencies and stuff like that. And I really think we're on the cusp of some tougher times but I don't look at it as bad. Uh, I think it's something that's going to force a lot of us back to uh, nature, back to farming, back to self-reliance, back to counting on ourselves and not the government. And that's going to be hard for a lot of people to accomplish. That's going to be a, a, a real change where everybody just kind of runs to the grocery store and a lot of people just... Uh, now everything instant and things get delivered to the house and uh you know sherry and i are going quite through quite the uh, uh shock of the fact that now we have a homestead sorry about the wind um we uh are home more and actually want to be home and uh we're not going to the store as much in fact last night was uh, Valentine's Day, so we thought let's go to dinner. So uh, there is a restaurant not too far from here uh, in a community that uh, is in our community, and uh, we bought their spe special, which was a steak and some prawns. It wasn't really overwhelming and whatever, but anyway, it cost sixty dollars plus ten dollar tip. Uh, so I spent seventy dollars, and it's like. Oh my gosh now granted it was uh, you know getting off and taking the day off you know, getting the evening off and uh, eating out and, and uh, kind of a special time but uh, Sherry and I both are going gosh you know we, $70 uh, buys a lot of uh, prime beef uh, I could have made that dinner so much better uh, five times <laughs> And, uh, you know, because I like cooking on my Traeger. And, uh, you know, uh, so we just don't do that very often. And now that we've been homesteading and being, trying to be more self-sufficient and trying to utilize our funds better and being smart, um, uh, it really stood out. And, uh, no, I mean, we'll still go out to dinner once in a while and stuff. But, uh, uh <laughs> You know just to get a break but we have a lot more money 
to be able to do what we want to do nowadays because we have been more self-sufficient. So I got to thinking I was doing this videos. I'm standing behind the barn and the ice up here has not slid down yet. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if this is a good place to be. Because as you can see, that's from the last major snow. So I still got to stay over here, stay out of the wind a little bit. But uh, once again on this channel is uh, one is please take the time to say hello in the comments. Two is I hope we're relating to the people that are thinking about getting out of the city, maybe not totally out, kind of in between. And I think we define that pretty well. And uh, and showing you, and it, it's taking us time to build our structures. Just like you and a lot of people, you may not buy property that has everything ready to go. You may have to build your own greenhouse, your own chicken coop, your own rabbit hutch, and uh, anything else that you might want to grow, and build your uh, gardens from scratch. And that's what we're doing. And as you can see, as you've been watching the videos, that's something that doesn't happen right away. Uh, it takes time. You take one step at a time. It's driven by your time. It's driven by your finances. And also what you're willing to maintain once you build this stuff. And that's kind of what we're all about. And uh, I hope you can relate to that. Uh, I will start asking, and as painful as it can be, is what you would like us to film, how you would like us to film, and what kind of things would you like us to start doing. Uh, I'm sure we're stuck in a paradigm of how we uh, do our presentation. And uh, feedback, and, and pr proactive feedback, uh, is always appreciated and, uh, and will inspire us to do better. So uh, I do want to thank you guys very much for following our channel. Um, please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over. It really helps. And uh, talk talk to us. Tell us what you uh, would like us to start showing and what we could do better to uh, show you this lifestyle um, and how we're dealing with it and why we're dealing with it. And then... Uh, I'm going to actually start working on a little bit more of our history of how we got here in the first place. And uh, I also want to address the age differences. When you're 20, 30, or 40, there's a lot of other things you might want to do as opposed to being 50, 60, or 70, um, knowing that you have some limitations. And, uh, uh, and then sometimes you have limitations that you don't really have. It's all in your head. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of factors here having a homestead. It's upkeep, there's work, there's finances, there's health care, um, there's uh, repairs, there's all kinds of responsibilities along with, you know, the same kind of lifestyles that everybody else has except we have to take care of uh, animals and we want to be more self-sufficient, which means we're learning how to do food preserving and soon we'll have our freeze dryer and we'll be doing videos about that but anyway guys uh, your feedback would be appreciated and I want to thank you so much for watching our channel and uh, keep in touch and we'll hopefully we'll continue doing better and better so uh, for now have a great day guys bye our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.